Man of Steel. Uh, I gotta talk about it. One of my favorite top 10 comic book movies of all time, straight up. Maybe even my top five. Let's get into it, man. We out here, baby. We gonna keep. We gonna put this one underneath the doors for the benches. Yeah. So let's do it. So Man of Steel, Zack Snyder's Man is still one of the best, the most in-depth stories for a comic book character that you've seen in a long time. I mean, they really. They, they, there's a problem with Superman because he's almost like in. Outside of Kryptonite, he's almost like too powerful. What would be the best antagonist to him? Why he has to deal with the real antagonist, such as I, would be himself. And I love the fact that in this world, this realistic world, that Zack Snyder chose to make different philosophies and ideas really be part of the story, part of his hero's journey, his, his hero, hero's arc. The fact that his parents wasn't even sure his father, his the guy he wanted to model himself after, the one that raised him, that he took such a strong role in his life that he really valued every opinion like most sons would to a father. And his father didn't have all the answers because his son was something out of this world, literally. The fact that you have such this power, but you have to control it. Even as a young boy, when young boys were known for fighting and stuff like that. Like the moment that scene where he bent up the fence, man. I love that scene when the, the father said, are you okay? He said, you know they can't hurt me. That's not what I asked. They can hurt you still on your inside. And that's something you have to fight all the time. And the fact that <laughs> nobody could to get in the ring with you must hurt because you can't even get it off. You have to accept the bully, accept all the hate, the sins, if you will, because people are so mad at the Jesus corollaries. I wasn't mad at it. It wasn't insulting. It's a story as old as time. Some of the most peaceful and nicest of people mm. get crucified. You see that with Martin Luther King. You see that with Malcolm X. If you don't believe he was peaceful, really get to know that brother. He just wasn't afraid of fighting back. The back is a big part. part. That's a different topic, but needless to say, we've seen that. Your Gandhis, your, 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 some of your, the people, the heroes, the real heroes, they died for what they, they was about. People were against it. People thought they were doing too much. You gonna F it up for everyone. You know what I'm saying? So the Jesus corollaries, cause he's the most highest embodiment of it. Why wouldn't you go there? Sometimes you don't need to be so much on the nose. Some things, why not? Who cares? It's not that deep as long as the story was told in a good way. All these people crying about that. It's like, come on, was it really over the top? And where they had to deal with it at BVS, if you ask me, was kind of the natural progression. But we're talking about Man of Steel. And I thought that was very interesting. Even like how he emoted, he smiled a lot. To be honest, if you ask me, this is what Superman would be right now. This is a millennial Superman. Everybody's getting mad about it. And the funny thing is, a lot of it are on the nights. On some bullshit. They mad about it. And a lot of the brothers, they a little bit old. I think, I don't know, is that Gen X? I don't even know all of the shits. You know what I mean? But the next generation above. You know what I'm saying? So, these people do not appreciate Zack Snyder's vision. If you ask me, it's, it's that, you know what I mean? Like, everybody want to jump the bandwagon. It got to be good to shit on. It really was BVS. It got to be easy to shit on BVS. But a lot of people, now I'm seeing, and maybe at that time I wasn't catching it, but people had an issue with Man of Steel, and I don't understand what it was. It was a well-executed film. I didn't even think that Zack Snyder would have went the route of not even going through slow-mo. He just said, yo, I'm going to just go for it. It's gonna be hard to see how they, this is Superman fighting, and I want you to feel like you're watching God's fight, and 
I think he was pretty much effective, even in the action point. But the story and how he told it through flashbacks and through poignant points of life and how he was more of a nomad, that's what would be Superman now, displaced man. Yeah, there's different ways I would have went with it, but that doesn't mean his way was any was bad. It was just a different route of telling the story. And I think it was excellent. And the fact that people swear he didn't smile, there's dudes out here on YouTube doing the God, doing the Lord's work. I swear they're showing you the stills of him smiling, so I don't need to go in on that. That's been already, they shut that shit down. Let's go into the artistry of the film. And or they was. That's even how they realized. They navigated away from the Crystal Cities. It went to a different type of organic approach. It was very, I forgot what the word is, but exoskeleton. Like they, like I feel like the designers of the ships really paid attention to detail, like to ants and exoskeletons. Pay attention to how the ships fold and and how it's designed. I really feel like it was modeled with ants and crabs kind of formation. Needless to say, it was an excellent film. Touched into some Matrix type of ideals too. But I like how they really developed the culture, the society, get you an insight to where he came from, to where he's is and where he's going and what made him so much more special than the average Kryptonian. It was an interesting take, man. It's, and you gotta look at it as a rendition of. In the comics, they have several different renditions. This is just theirs. Enjoy it. If you don't like it, don't like it, but don't say certain shit didn't exist when it did. They try to be realistic. You think, how many times you watch Superman fight in the city, you think no one did it die? Look at, it's like watching the Power Rangers battle in the city. Get the fuck out. Niggas dead. Y'all yeah, been slamming right through fucking buildings. Niggas is dead. Let's stop playing. Let's stop playing about it. It happens. And you can tell they wanted to address it in the second movie because they were listening. But it matters still. I mean, there were certain things I wasn't with, and there were certain videos I see that I had to respect that made me go, you know what, I gotta deal with it. I'm gonna dig real deep in the matter still because it's such an excellent film, and even though my channel will talk about a lot of things, I really want to do a lot more movie work, but I love the movies, and I want to do more hip hop. I gotta do it. But, man, it's still excellent film, an excellent film. Or they said as a film. And I think we, we as comic book heads, if you really look at the energy of the online, how people want to keep dissecting, even Man of Steel, not just Man of Steel, BVS. People are dissected those films even to this day. And you guys hate this movie so much, but there's so much to explore. Why is it? Because the visionary puts so much in there, so much work into it. So you might not like his execution, and we could argue back and forth on that, but to say that this guy was in a comic book, man, he was interested in really digging and really fleshing out these characters and bringing a different type of dynamic towards them, taking a different approach. To say that, oh, you wanted something more along the lines of Christopher Reeves. You got those films, man. Like Just like John Campia says, man, you got those. Let's see this rendition. And to be honest, I think we're gonna, we, we're missing out on what could have been. I think the extra hate that you guys did really destroyed it. And do you really want less comic book movies? That's a question. Because if that's what you want, and you're going to get it because you got some directors that not even, don't even want to play in your sandbox no more. Some good ones, too. Some ones that you guys will probably want, that we will want. But that's all I got, man. And that's how I'm going to give it up on this one. So 
Just a thought, man. Snow, man. Let, let me know what, what y'all think, man. I, I felt about Man of Steel. I'm going to really dig deep on Man of Steel because I really love this movie. This is just something that I just thought of on the cuff. You hear the streets out here, man. I politic it, man. Just thoughts out here, man. We shooting it out, man. We just shooting out our thoughts and what we think of things. And I had to go to talk one up for Man of Steel, man. And as always, man, got to shout out the R.I.P., or oh, sweat in peace, SIP to John Schnepp. John Schnepp, I'm so stuck, man. I'm so stuck, but John Schnepp. And most importantly, man, release the Snyder Cut, man. You know what I'm about, man. I'm going to do one on that too, man. We're going to get in there, man. But this came from the bar. I'm so stuck. This is, this is one for the, for the tube. And I'll catch you on the next one. We out.